I think that more art should be public and not stuck in a museum uh, or a gallery. Uh, I think art should be available to anybody at any time. Art in Public Places program is something the city of Nanaimo embarked on four years ago as a legacy program out of the cultural capitals of Canada. And since then we've been really trying to include public art in any new programs that Parks, Recreation and Culture is, is building, such as the Maffeo Sutton Spirit Square and improvements down at Maffeo Sutton Park, where Art, outdoor art galleries and platforms have been incorporated as part of the design to really create an outdoor art gallery in our downtown core. The Nanaimo Art Gallery believes that art plays an important role in the life of the community and contributes to our understanding and our pride of place and so I think having work beyond the walls of the gallery in the places that we use every day and, and the places that we move to, the places that we bring our friends to, really enhances our experience of where we live. I think it's fantastic. It's really bringing artwork into public places where most people won't visit a gallery exhibition and go into a white wall gallery and then when you bring things into a park it puts them into different contexts and allows for engagement. You know, you think about all the pieces throughout here, people can actually walk up and, God forbid, touch the art. You know, it's one of those things, it's the white glove treatment that so many people think is in the art world, but then this really engages with the public and allows them to see a little bit of not only process but concepts and different forms and it's such a veritable plethora of work that's here at the park. I think one of the good things about this program is that it inspires people to look, to look closely and to talk to each other and looking at the spaces that we use differently. For the last four years, the city of Nanaimo has put calls out to artists in the fall and artists have submitted proposals that outline pieces that potentially could be installed in the spring. And they've been evaluated in January of each year. And by May, artists have created pieces that we now see in the parks. I think it's a great opportunity for the artists, you know, like especially if you, you live here, uh, it, it just gives you a bigger gallery, you know, like, and, and I love using Nanaimo as my gallery. When I found out about this, I wanted to, I wanted in on it right off the bat. Like I wanted to be one of the guys to be in there. I wanted, I wanted to have stuff up here in town, out there where everybody gets to see it. I've always wanted something like that. You know, another coincidence, because I wanted to do a spindle whirl for the city to have it on display for a long time now. I think it's fantastic. I think it's really great. They're giving people like me an opportunity to show what I can build and what I can think of. Um, I mean, I wish that there was something like it in Victoria. There isn't. And uh, yeah, I just love putting my stuff out. I think it's great that it's temporary. Uh, it lets, you know, things change around a lot. Temporary pieces are usually on display for a, a very short period of time, up to a year in the case of our outdoor art, but it could also be very ephemeral pieces that are on display as a temporary installation for a couple of weeks only. Really, I think uh, part, of, part of the idea of the temporary project was to be able to put stuff out there that maybe wasn't uh, what people would stereotypically think of as public art. Um, you know, I think it's art because of its interactive element. I think it's great to have uh, art out in public spaces in Nanaimo. Um, it's great to be able to interact with the beauty of nature and uh, the beauty of sort of human creativity at the same time. Um, and I, I'm, I'm excited every year now in May when May comes to see what new projects are going to be out there uh, for the year. Something that was really interesting for us as, um, as we participated in the cultural planning process was members of the community seemed to say that they loved public art and they want more of it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Sure did wonderful work. It's beautiful. And I love the, uh, the one and over there in the corner. As you turn, it's uh, the, the three basic color, the red, blue, and red, uh, yellow. And they're very, very, uh, they're just long, and then they have a movement of coming back down again, you know, back to earth. Just beautiful. I think it's been, as part of this program, increasingly important that the works that are chosen connect to the context of Nanaimo in different ways and invite the audience to engage as participants in the case of the frame, um, but also to reconsider 
to places that we're familiar with and, and to reconsider specific ideas or perceptions about uh, the places we live. The main criteria that we were looking at with each artist's proposal this year was, is the art suitable to be in an outdoor space? Is it vandal resistant? Does it pose any safety hazards to the public? And is it something that can withstand a one year duration of display? We also were looking for pieces that add vitality to a public space and that could be interpreted in, in many ways, but many of the pieces for 2013 are something that reflects the spirit of Matteo Sutton Park uh, or has a message that talks about the city's past or the city's future. And it's an evolving program that uh, we're working on developing and changing to have more people involved and to increase the impact in the community. Well, anyone that's interested in submitting their resume to the City of Nanaimo's Park Re Parks, Recreation and Culture Department uh, is welcome to, and we'll keep your resume on file and notify you if, if, you if there are any opportunities for commission pieces or temporary pieces in the future. And the City of Nanaimo has also started a Volunteers in Parks community-based public art program, and the City offers grants to artists and communities that are interested in enhancing and beautifying local neighborhood parks as part of a collaborative process and there's information about that on the city's website.